so the kids are off to daycare and I am actually going to see if I can get an oil change on my vehicle. Now I will tell you, driving here and kind of like right now I'm approaching my vehicle and I'm going to the wrong side of the car. <laughs> because in Trinidad we drive on the other side of the street, the right side. Well, here they drive on the left. <laughs> and um, I haven't killed anyone, so that's a good start. Honestly, it's the same as driving, but you just have to always be aware of what the hell you're doing. Because the moment you get distracted, you go back to that muscle memory and you're on the opposite side of the road and that's not good for anyone, right? So, I'm actually off. I need to get one of these hockey thingies for right here. Um, but I don't have one, so I will not be talking and driving. <laughs> and then even, I think even if I did have it, I wouldn't do that because I am trying to keep 100% of my focus on staying on the left side of the street so I need all my brain cells to get this done safely okay so I'm here outside of Canadian Tire and what I thought would probably take like 15 minutes is taking like an hour <laughs> so I need to kind of occupy myself yeah so basically um, I'm getting my oil changed and then um, something's wrong with the tires Generally, I just need a lot of advice in terms of what are the best tires to have on this vehicle because winter is coming and I have no friggin' idea how it would be to drive in snow and I just want to make sure that I have the best possible chance of doing this safely. So I want to make sure that I have the best equipment, right? Starting with the tires. Um, so I'm really just walking here to see what's close by to Canadian Tire that I can occupy myself with for an hour. And I'm seeing that there's some businesses over here, but somehow I feel that if I go into any of these, I'll end up spending money that I don't want to spend. But I'm going to have to take that risk, right? Wish me luck. What a lovely. So sad, so done. So I'm standing outside of good life fitness and i went in and they gave me a free book and uh, i got a tour and oh my god that gym is heavenly <laughs> heavenly since i've been in canada i've gained i've gained some pounds and i've always struggled with my weight so i think heading back to the gym is a good a good place to start um and that gym oh my god so i'm definitely considering it i'm considering it i'll let you all know if i decide I don't know, like this this hour that I've been here waiting on my car has really been insightful because I just actually went into a doctor's office right behind there in Richmond Square. And since we get in here, well, we got our health cards um, here in Alberta. We um, were able to get that right as soon as we landed and got our documents. And healthcare here is supported by the taxes that we pay. <laughs> so you don't have to pay out of pocket for healthcare. But we have not been able to find a doctor because, I don't know, just probably time constraints. And I was able just to walk into this clinic and set up an appointment for the kids and I to just get a checkup and to get a family <clears throat> doctor in the event of an emergency. Um, somebody you know we can go to instead of running to the hospital since we've been here we had one emergency where we actually had to take my daughter to the um, hospital because my both kids is suffer with asthma and um, that's always fun right <laughs> and somehow these emergencies always happen in the dead of night you know like children know mommy's sleeping so let's get sick <laughs> So it would be nice to have a family doctor. I'm looking forward actually to meeting with a family doctor. Not that we have any issues, but just, you know, somebody to know your history. And now I'm actually going, walking up to a business called Prestige Dance. 
I want to see what that's about. It's prestige dance studio. So let's see. Okay, so the dance studio was a bus. They're actually closed. Um, but I saw on the schedule they have like Afrobeat dance class. I'm definitely going to check them out online because I love me some good old dancing. And for those of y'all who are wondering, I have on this nice cozy jacket, but the sun is shining hot. Um, it actually really is warm. Today is probably like about 24 degrees Celsius, which is pretty warm. But I have just been petrified of leaving the house without some kind of jacket because I've had experiences since being here where you leave the house and it's warm and then somehow, somehow <laughs> it gets cold like really quickly and I enable with all that jazz so now I always take precautions oh, yeah so just got back in the car and guess what I did not spend a dollar <laughs> it's really good but I'm really considering joining that gym I really think that it's gonna be off in the long run what do y'all think think I should join the gym I've been exploring as well with working out at home and I go for jogs every once in a while as well but I think like paying a gym membership really keeps you focused and I love group activities I love like aerobics, zumba, body pump, all those things anything to do with movement I love so I think that um I think I would I think I would join this gym so I'm about to leave here and I'm going home get grab something to eat the kids are in daycare and uh, I actually start a new job on the 1st, today is the 30th of, of July, start a new job on the 1st of August, so that's Thursday. So I have the next, I have tomorrow off basically, so I have today and tomorrow off to run errands, which is why I chose to um, come and get the oil change. Um, they gave me a crazy bill like to do the oil change and to do a diagnostic diagnostics on the vehicle it cost me a good hundred and thirty dollars Canadian um, and they told me that some other stuff was wrong with it and obviously the bills just kept racking up but I decided just to stick with what needed to be done now um, and then I was also advised to get winter tires so right now I have on all season tires but Canadian winters um, and even more Calgarian winters <laughs> and not for the faint of heart they're not for the all-season tires kind of person you know so the guy in um, Canadian tire was like oh no you need to get some winter tires and he said that to avoid rush I should probably think about getting winter tires like last week in September first week in October because that's when they usually go on sale and that's right before everybody in Calgary I look into change the tires to winter tires. So I need to start. So yeah, I'm back at the apartment and I'm cooking, making some kind of shish kebab, something. Look at it. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, gosh, can't <sighs> So I'll be having that on some salad. I am so hungry. I could like eat a cow. <laughs> African girl. If y'all want to know more about how I managed to lose over 90 pounds on uh, my ketogenic diet, ask and I'll make some content on it. But yeah, it was really interesting. Actually, September the 24th this year, 2019, will make it one year since I started on my weight loss journey and lost. 190 pounds. Yeah, that's interesting, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting here. It's just about time to go collect the kids, and I am in the middle of dyeing my hair. I actually did a video on the process, and um, I'll be uploading it sometime soon because I use this new dye and I want to see like how it works in my hair, and I'll be showing you the results and whatnot. But the issue right now is. <laughs> I have this damn plastic back on my head. And I need to go get these kids. So what should I do? Should I go like this? Do you think Calgary is ready for some Caribbean plastic bag flavor? Or do you think I'm probably right scared the neighbors? I think I probably would scare the neighbors. We'll see. 
I'm sitting here actually listening to Beyonce song Spirit. Oh gosh, guys, I need to go see the Lion King. This looking so good. Like, is it the time I'm watching this video over and over? Like, chills running down my spine. Gosh, this woman is so talented. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, I go and get the kids and guess what? I go with my plastic bag. <laughs> I agree, watch out. I rock in my plastic bag. I go in. Let me go. Hello! Hello. Down. 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 And I'm back. I'm actually just gonna take off um, my bag <laughs> and uh, rinse out my hair. The kids are home, so I think that'll be the end of the vlog today because. I just can't do it with them, right? Because literally, I have two toddlers and my two hands are fully occupied every time they are around. So I have no more time, I have no more hands. So that's the end of the vlog because no more hands are available. <laughs> Mothers, I'm sure you can relate. Alright, guys, so thank you for watching. Subscribe below if you like the content and if you want more. And yeah, have a good day, night, evening, or whatever. Bye.